him and walked around. So I will just do new game and we will see. Let's watch the intro. Dun, 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 dun. Hello everybody and welcome back to the news. You are listening to News Radio Station. My name is News Guy Number One, and tonight okay. we have some very important information regarding a very dangerous individual. News Guy Number Two, can you tell us a little bit more about what's going on? Why yes, of course, News Guy Number One. Thanks for asking. Hello everybody, my name is News Guy Number Two. And tonight we just wanted to give you all a warning about a very dangerous criminal that is on the loose, known as the Potato Man. The Potato Man is one of the most notorious serial killers around. Known for deep frying his victims to the bones, he is an absolute nightmare. Scared. If you see this individual out on the street, we advise that you do not approach him. But instead, please contact your local authorities immediately. Now many of you might be wondering, what does he look like? Uh, we assume by his name that he looks like a potato. So if you see a giant potato trying to blend in with the humans, then that should instantly raise a red flag for you and make you a little bit suspicious. I'm already so suspicious. Once again, if you see anything unusual at all, please do not approach it. Do not try to be the hero. Just stay away and contact the local authorities because we want you all to stay safe out there okay. anyway back to you news guy number one well 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 there you go folks you heard it here first thank you for sharing that information with us here tonight news guy number two anyway as for the weather tonight we will be experiencing some heavy thunderstorms and rainfall so if you all plan on going outside we recommend you grab your jacket and get the umbrella ready, cause it's gonna be a chilly, chilly night. Anyway, that is all for tonight's news report. Thank you for listening to News Radio Station. Coming up next is the latest and greatest top music hits playing all night. Okay, so that's the intro, I guess. Sounds interesting. And we are in the game, so let's see. Can I control this? Uh, I can kind of control it with my controller, but I think I will use keyboard instead. Uh, let's see. Seems, oh, I have a flashlight. Okay, that's that's good. Seems to be. Seems to be an interesting game. Is the radio? I'm not sure what is the. Uh, oh my god! Are you kidding me? I was trying to check the controls and it sent me back to main menu. Oh, we can skip. Good. I was pressing every single button. Okay. I like the loading loading symbol in the corner. Uh, as I was saying, I'm not sure if there is an interact button. Because E is for the flashlight. But I'm sure we will figure it out eventually. This door seems to be also locked. I see some we have lines on the on the wall. Okay, there is something over there. I'm not entirely sure what that is, but it seems to be blind. So that's good. Okay, that was a very very cheap jump scare. They don't spook me, not even a little bit, I must say. Uh, let's see. Will this thing charge at me? It walks away. 
Okay. It disappeared. Yeah, you better you better run and hide because I'm not playing around. Apparently it's midnight. Um doors open now. Come into my room. You strong man you. Okay. Seems a bit interesting. I don't know if you heard it on the stream, but something said that the door is now open. It's an interesting looking fellow. Probably one of the game developers. If I had to guess, this might be his skull. Let's see what's behind the door. Oh my god, it's the freaking Catboy plushies. And Catboy art as well. How dare you go into my wife's room? I'm going to kick your butt. Okay, some something just told me that it's going to kick my butt, apparently. You can also jump, I just realized. It's good to, good to know, good to know. I'm not entirely sure... What are we supposed to do in this game? But I'm sure we will figure it out eventually. I think that's the potato man. If I understand correctly, he should be the villain of this story. So I guess we should go say hi to him, maybe. I don't see anything else we can do. He doesn't seem... He doesn't seem to be dangerous at the moment. He is quite large. That's what she said, by the way. Uh, press E. Oh, he disappeared. Okay, that's not good. Where is here before? I don't remember seeing those. This door is still closed. And... This door is also still closed. Do we just walk back and forth? This door is still closed. I hear some sort of a static going from over there. And this flashlight doesn't really help much. It's starting to be a little spooky, I must admit. But so far nothing to nothing to nothing to spooky. Okay, I'm not sure what the heck I'm looking at. Seems to be enjoying the bed. Kind of reminds me of Dobby from Harry Potter. And the Chamber of Secrets. Uh, another cheap jump scare. Nothing to worry about so far. But I am a bit confused about the story at the moment
I'm not sure if we are at our house or if we broke into someone else's house. Or what the heck is going on? All the doors are still locked. This one also is locked, so that's not good. That's not good. I haven't tried this one. This one is the one that has the static. I don't know if you can pick it up. But behind this door there seems to be some loud static. I think. Not sure what that means. Can I? I don't know if any buttons are doing anything. Okay buddy. Here is the deal. I'm going to give you one chance to leave my house. All you need to do is find a way out. However, if you decide to stay any longer, I am going to have to rough you up a bit. I don't care if it is the zombie apocalypse out there. I don't like intruders breaking into my house. Go find somewhere else to survive. I mean come on man. Seriously. If you don't get killed out there, you will get killed in here. The only difference is, you would probably live longer out there than in here. Come on. Make the right choice dude. Good luck. I love you. So I don't know if you heard the man, but someone just told me that I need to leave this house because I broke in, so that's the lore for you. We are in fact a... some sort of a thief that broke into this house. And I guess we should leave. Uh, Corrupt Shark says, this reminds me of Super Liminal. Yeah, it has similar, similar vibe. I'm not sure what the heck is going on. I guess this is the exit. But it's locked. Uh, you should play Super Liminal on stream. I might give it a go. But the game seems like it would fit my channel quite well. Oh my god, I got spooked. What's this? Didn't think you could just walk out, did you? I did. Baby. Looks like now we have bad blood. Oh no. <sighs> uh. <sighs> I am tied to the chair, apparently. Heavy breathing. Don't give me that look, you hideous man. I'm going to deep fry you real crispy. Oh no, we are about to get deep fried. Oh my god, the big hand slap. Knockout. Potato man wins. Don't touch that dial now. We're just getting started. That's not good. That's not good. We got big ha big handed into oblivion. That was just the intro, apparently. Uh Garup Shark says this is so funny. What the fuck? Is this supposed to be scary? Well, I'm not sure. It's it had horror in its in its text. We just finished the intro. It's the PT, you know, from Hideo Kojima. Except it's the potato edition. So I guess let's press start. Four hours earlier. The phone is ringing. Hello. Quinn and Sons Bounty Hunting Services. What can I do for you? Yes, hello. Is this Bounty Hunting Services? Yes, sir. This is Bounty Hunting Services. How can we help you today? 
Hello, Bonix. Oh my goodness. I'm so happy I was able to reach you. I believe that I know the location of the Potato Man. Wait. Wait, wait a second. You mean the Potato Man? As in the most notorious serial killer Potato Man? Yes. That Potato Man. The bad guy Potato Man. The most wanted Potato Man. OMG. I have been trying to hunt this freak down for years. He always slips away. I just saw him leaving the grocery store. He had two jugs of deep frying oil. I followed him back to his hideout and now I know his location. This is why I am calling. I think he might be getting ready to deep fry his next victim. You need to get down here ASAP bra. Potato man's deep frying days are over. I will not let him deep fry another person. Send me the location. Me and my son will be down there right away to finally arrest this bad potato and bring justice to all those he deep fried. What did you say your name was? I don't want to get involved. I would like to remain anonymous. Please hurry. Before it's too late. Okay. So I guess we will be playing as the son and the father. Maybe even the Holy Spirit. You think that the color was the potato man? That could that could be that could be a nice plot twist. Windalin. Hey. Dexter. Get ready. We are going to take down Potato Man tonight. Okay. We will oh take boy. him down. Sounds awesome. I can't wait, Dad. Oh, that's our son. I love his head. This isn't going to be easy, son. Potato Man is very dangerous. But he needs to be stopped once and for all. Indeed. I ain't scared of no Potato Dad. Come on. Let's go. Okay, we are playing. Oh my god, suddenly it's third person. Okay, that's... Oh, we can punch. Can I punch my kid? Dad, we can take the helipier to get to Potato Man's hideout. Come on. Apparently he doesn't it. mind it. Okay. it should... Oh, objective. Get to the helipier. Travel to Potato Man hideout. Okay, we just go into the door apparently. This has got to be a joke game. I like I like how the subtitle font is so bad. Oh goodness, imagine says one X. Okay, we are at the heli helipad. Slow motion from the sunset. Oh my God, those are some beautiful visuals. I especially like how the boy is shiny, like he's made of metal. Truly, truly RTX enabled. Dad, this is my newest invention. I call it the Heli Pier. It will get us to our destination in no time. Okay. It's the freaking Heli Pier, transportational air aircraft. We take down Potato Man tonight and become uh, recognized as heroes around the world. I agree. That sounds like a plan. We are not doing this for recognition. We are doing this because we have to. For all those innocent people Potato Man deep fried. Indeed. Start up the heli pier. We're leaving now. It's an interesting sound effect. Okay. That's just how helicopters sound. 
that's 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 like the best sound effect I ever heard. Okay, present time. I guess the trip took us four hours then. Which is interesting. Let's see. Okay, we are back in the first person. Back in the house. I don't remember this mask being here before. Uh, let's see. Okay, suddenly there is pink light. This is 100% a joke game, says Herob Shark. Apparently it's still midnight. And the clock is sticking. I like the I like the color colors. Blinking, blinking. Let's see. That room still has static, but it still cannot be opened, unfortunately. What is in this corner that it's having the bright lights flashing? Some interesting modern music in the radio. Oh my god, look at this cat. It's the freaking BAM cat. Also, thank you for the burger gift shop. I will eat it. There we go. I keep forgetting which hand is the burger in, so I just always use both hands to save, save the trouble. And also, thank you for the fish. I appreciate it. Although it's a bit smelly with the fish. Now I need to deal with the smell of fish. You love to love to love to see it. Okay, we are Oh we've been teleported. Jump with space. What for? Can I jump on the plushies? On the couch? Oh okay. Uh, the whole gang is back together again, says Gift Shop. Insert Kermit singing together again, says Karupchak. Oh. Oh my god. They are doing squeaky noises. Best game ever. Also, my flashlight turned... ...colorful. Uh, I guess this is sort of... ...pink and purple. Interesting colors. I guess we got the fanboy vision at the moment. Oh, maybe it's the blacklight flashlight. You are right. Uh, you are correct. That could be the that could be the thing. There is someone watching me. Oh my God! What the heck is you? What? Okay, he is watching me, but he doesn't seem to be getting getting over here. Maybe he's more scared of us than we are of him. He's got interesting looking nose. Uh, gift shop says approach him. Did he just yap at me? I'm pretty sure he just yapped at me. Is that a good sign or a bad sign? I'm not sure. I hear some heavy breathing in the distance though. That's that's not good. Also there is invisible... I think he is still here but... Invisible because there is invisible barrier in the middle of the... Thing, which is not good. Um, also, corrupt sharks. Corrupt sharks said, "Why are you so good at random one lines?" 
Uh, I don't know, I just say random stuff that pops into my head. What the heck is that noise? Kind of spooky. Oh! I got teleported again. Oh, now we got the aqua flashlight. Okay. Seems like the guy that was in the window is no longer out there. Which means that he's probably somewhere inside. This room is still locked shut. We are still in a need of the lockpicking lawyer. But I guess we will deal with it. I love this picture. It's like the most beautiful pussy I ever seen. With laser eyes and everything. You don't see that every day every day. Ah uh, let's see. Now this door is locked, which is a bit weird. Did I see something twitch over here? Or am I just hallucinating? Okay, I guess we need to go back. Oh my god, why is this static sound in here so loud? Kind of spooky. not entirely sure what is going on but the modern art on the walls is truly magnificent I especially like the bone structure over here very very modern okay I am I have returned to my I have returned to the point of entry. I did knock over some lights and such. Still confused about my objective, but hopefully we can figure it out. Not too sure. Maybe I missed something. But I'm pretty sure I checked every door and they... Oh my god, I got... I got spooked again. By the freaking potato man. That's not good. He didn't even do anything, he just appeared. And I got spooked. Okay, that's not good. Okay, what is the color of my flashlight now? Oh my god, it's the channel colors. Finally. Finally the game looks like it belongs. With my overlay. That's lovely. Uh, the monster is in the window again. And that guy is also back in action. I guess he will disappear when we approach. Yep. He yapped away. Maybe this is some sort of a puzzle. Maybe we need to do... something else. Because it seems to be looping back to where we started except for the fact that this door is now locked it wasn't locked before I'm not exactly sure where to go
I am sure we can figure it out. It might take a little bit of time though. Clock is ticking. I love the plushies. They look quite interesting. I mean the time on the clock is still the same. So that guy over there is still the same. Maybe we need to jump. Like somehow. Oh, actually I just noticed there is a something that we could Oh my god, okay. I don't know why, but that spooked me three times in a row. It's not even spooky, but I got spooked. And we are no longer in the red zone. We are going green. I guess it's team trees from now on. Let's see. Thank you very much for the... For the hugging of the corrupt shark. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see it, but in the back over there, there seems to be some party going on. I hear some voices. Oh, it's from the radio. I'm not sure what language that is, but sadly I cannot understand. All the doors are still locked. Which makes it kind of confusing. Maybe we are making progress. I'm not too sure. Is the guy still in the window? He is no longer in the window. So... That's something to consider. Clock is still at midnight. Nothing over here, I don't think. I am guessing that the potato man will appear out of nowhere and spook us once again. Yeah, I'm not too sure how to proceed. This door is locked. I cannot interact with the radio. I can jump on it, but that's about it. Can I jump on the ledge? I don't think I can jump that high. Okay, I managed to jump on the freaking wall. It's time to be Spider-Man. Only the Spider-Man can stop the Potato Man. Maybe one of these windows is fake. Let's see. Okay, I'm still on the walls. Bet you didn't expect to see Spider-Man today. Oh, okay, he was behind the wall. 
therefore we are safe I guess okay there are some weird texts on the screen let's go explore I guess um, we are back with the red flashlight I love to see it feeling lucky maybe Enter to win a chance at winning. Uh, doubtful. Okay. I see the man in the window again. Just remember this code, write it down. The freaking Yep guy is back. Hey, Ahmad, you Malak Shaif when Mashi? I'm not sure what he said to me, but I disagree. Wait, did we miss any texts? Doesn't seem like. Start a new game, skip the radio scene and type this code in, enter for a chance to win a trip to go home. 361993 Apparently. Okay. I will write it down in the chat so that I don't forget it. Might as well use the tools. Ah, uh, 361993. Okay. So, that's something. Then what's this? Press the escape key to return to the main menu. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Start a new game, skip the radio, and type the code. Okay, new game. Skip the radio. Dun, 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 I need to. Hello, everybody. I need to skip Hello, button, please. You. You are... There we go. And where do we put in the code? Okay, we are back in the in the in the menu. Let me try three, six, one, nine, nine, three. Okay, go to bed, but where do I live? Look at my gay walk, oh my god, that's the, that's the typical gay walk over here. Do I sleep in the toilet? Apparently not, maybe in the blue house, since we are wearing the blue pajamas. Nope, that's another toilet. That is my bed, I think. Okay. I went to the bed and appeared back... ...back here. Now oh, this is some weird, weird, weird puzzle. And I am honestly quite puzzled by this. I hear the phone ringing. Let's go, let's go pick it up. Good morning. This is Detective Danny calling in. Yeah, I seem to have found some evidence regarding the case. The bean man left some DNA at the scene. The beans were rosted. His beans were rosted. Bean man is fresh. If we don't catch him soon, he will continue to do what he is doing. Bean Man must be stopped. Listen. I can't talk about this on the phone. Meet me at the cafe in 20 minutes. Okay, suddenly Bean, Bean Man entered the realm. Did we enter a parallel dimension where the 
potato man is replaced with the bean man. Could be, could be. Also, this door is now open. Uh, what? Okay. Sir, why are you floating away? That's some weird king. Oh my god, we got a weapon. How do I use it? I'm not sure how to use this weapon. But at least we got the weapon. Can we... I don't know what to do with this. Okay. We are making progress. We have back on the Dalek. Exterminate. Exterminate. Apparently not. Apparently, apparently not. Hmm. Oh my god, I got spooked again. That's not, that's not good. I keep getting spooked by the freaking potato man. Okay, does the does the text say anything new? Maybe. Hey, Ahmad, Shumalak Shaif when Mashi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This door is now locked. 361993, it's the same code. I am guessing we did something wrong. Let's see. Let's try again. Dun, 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 Hello everybody and welcome back to the news. You oh, it's a different, different different thing where we need to burn the ghosts apparently uh, okay one of them is burned this is kind of weird I wonder what it symbolizes there we are the ghosts have been burned can I burn the trees as well Okay, I fell into the water because I didn't know what else to do. We are back at the green light, therefore we should be safe from the from the Squid Games. Bone is ringing again. Ah, ha 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 ha! Well. That there is Lana, Lana the Lemon. Isn't she a lovely fox? She comes to the park every day to eat my hot dog. Why don't you go say hello to her? She's real friendly. She eats your hot dog, hmm? Sounds like a fun time. Okay. Let's see what else can we find. Oh my god. It's our father. What are you doing, father? Pooping in the morning? How about some exterminate? Exterminate. Cannot exterminate the father, unfortunately. 
We can, oh my god, look at this texture of the water. Truly next generation graphics, I must say. So, I don't know, I don't know what to, what to do. We do have to freaking plunge. The front door has been opened. Uh, warning, you are not supposed to go beyond this door. You will cause the game to crash or go into an alternate reality. Oh my god, corrupt shark. We can go into the freaking alternate real reality. Isn't that, isn't that exciting? And it's, it's glitching. Oh. Okay, we must go to bed. We must go to bed once again. What is this thing? It's a skull. Okay. Let's try the grey house. I cannot see very well. There isn't a bed in here. I wish the camera wasn't clipping through the walls. But that's okay. We can jump. There doesn't seem to be a bed in the yellow one. Also the music is kind of loud in this location. The gay is... The gay... Uh, I mean the kit... The kit is slow because... Because... My god, where is... Okay, that was weird. My cam camera got stuck behind the walls. And then I appeared back here. Uh, that's quite weird, but I am glad that we got the red light again. Not so safe in the Squid Games, but very pleasant looking in, the, in this game. It do be anger vision, you are correct. No phone calls. Yep. The Yap guy has been making cameo as always. This door is locked. Hmm. Radio is quiet. Now this door is once again closed. And Corrupt Shark says, gotta go be doing the adulting. Uh, understandable. Have fun with it. Hopefully it goes well. This door is also locked. Everything is locked. Everything is locked. Except for our... Except for our ability to proceed. Because eventually we will figure it out. It do be a spooky, spooky game. Uh, you will be lurking to give that sweet, sweet watch time and we will count. Yeah, that's that's very sweet of you, but I don't know if it actually counts because I think I showed you that past couple of streams have been bugging out. It seems to only count like one or two people for some reason. Also, I could maybe give you a shout out because. Why not? I'm always happy to sh do shout out. Yep, that's what I thought. There's one right there. Okay. Let's see. I'm, I should be able to hit it with the arrow, I think. Lunchtime? Nice. No throw. No throwing? Hey, Zorin! <laughs> Why? And that's 
That's the pain of the redeems. You never know what you're gonna get. Also perfect timing for that particular band action. Okay, let's see. I'm not sure how to proceed. Your pain is Chet's laughter. It do be like that sometimes. Uh, I like this art piece over here. It reminds me of when the freaking volcano erupted in Pompeii and swallowed the entire town. Very, very lovely depiction. And this right here is the freaking demon that haunts your soul while you are asleep. Very, very lovely depiction. I especially like the freaking whiskers. Because we all know that the demons in our dreams are in fact cats. And the potato man strikes again. And we got teleported back into the uh, bedroom. So that's not good. We are back with the purple lights. Why does this wall in particular... Say jump with space. Does it want us to go... Okay, we managed to clip to the upper section. However, I'm not sure what it's supposed to do for us. Also, this is a very lovely picture of the desert. Reminds me of the days of the freaking... What's the name of the movie with the desert? Mummy, I think. So yeah, that's what it reminds me of. Onyx is BRB, which is understandable. Monster is in the window again. Wait a minute, the clock is... The clock is dinging, but it still shows midnight. So... The phone is ringing. Good morning. This is Detective Danny calling in. Yeah, I seem to have found some evidence regarding the case. The bean man left some DNA at the scene. The beans were rosted. His beans were rosted. Bean man is fresh. If we don't catch him soon, he will continue to do what he is doing. Bean man must be stopped. Listen. I can't talk about this on the phone. Meet me at the cafe in 20 minutes. I'm pretty sure he said this exact message to us before. Which leads me to believe that maybe we have failed. Hey, Ahmad, you Malak Shaif when Mashi? Maybe we have felt something. Also, is this door smaller than it was before? It seems kind of tiny. Maybe I'm just imagining things. Uh, all of the doors are unlocked. It's not good. I kind of wanna go say hi to the to the monster in the window. Hopefully the potato man doesn't stop us from visiting the monster. Okay. I don't know who you are. And I don't know how to get, how to interact with you, but up close you seem to be just a statue with no real purpose. The potato man again spooked me, that's not good. 
That's not good at all. Green light. Green light is back, which means we probably need to restart from the new game again. And enter the code again. It will probably give us some more hints. Three six one nine nine three. Yeah, I, all the doors are locked. There is nothing else to do except for three six one nine nine three. So. Let's go ahead and do it. Dun, 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 dun. Hello everybody. Please let me skip. The you... There we go. Uh let's see. Three six one nine nine three. Go home. Oh, we are playing as the devil. We are entering the Frogger realm. Okay, that car almost killed me, but... I think I can reach the home. Uh, shares of the Pride variety. I will obviously pick the red one. I don't know what that noise was. Okay. Stuff. Uh, I don't know what to think about that. Okay, it's glitching. And now it's loading. Pressing the escape key of or the P key will take you to the main menu. That's a good tip, although I already knew it from like the previous puzzles. And of course we are back. Back back in the in the beginning. So let's proceed. Oh. Okay. Something is definitely different. There is creepy music. Is it this? Too sure, but it's definitely, definitely different. This door is still locked. Oh my god, he's on the ceiling. It's like from the Matrix or something. Oh, okay. Okay. That's a little spooky. My vision seems to be all over the place. Can I leave? I cannot. Maybe through this door? Apparently not. And we've been... We've been teleported into a different kind of room. It sounds like someone is huffing, puffing somewhere around here. We are seeing the trees for the first time, which is lovely. Is that supposed to be like sound effect for owl or something? Because if so, then that's kind of kind of messed up. Okay. 
Seems like the only way to go is through here. Target found? What do you mean target found? What do you mean target found? What? Why is this so spooky? This shouldn't be spooky. Okay, we found the chair. Daddy. Daddy. I finally found you. Oh my god, we found the daddy. Okay. Daddy. It's me. Robot son. Oh, it's a robot son. You programmed me to track you down in case you ever were in danger. That's convenient. You need to get out of here, daddy. Before Potato Man gets you. Okay. Come on. Let's get you out of here, daddy. So, we've been playing as the son all this time. We've rescued we our... The emergency escape heli pair. Daddy. Dad, this mission is a failure. We just need to focus on getting out of here. We can't arrest the target in our current state. Potato Man got the jump on us. He is tougher than we anticipated. We need to recover and get back to headquarters. Aborting mission. Okay. Objective exit the room. Easy. This game has an autosave feature. Winky face. It's loading. It's loading. Cutscene. I think. Don't make yeah. any sudden movements, Daddy. That's a nosy nose monster. Don't let it see you. Oh, Intel it's the kill you instantly. It's the nosy nose monster. Other organs to explode. Try to stealth past it. Be extra stealth. Stealth is survival. Okay. If stealth is the survivor, then we must avoid the nosy nose. He said no sudden movements for the win. Objective stealth past the nosy nose. Shouldn't be too difficult. I don't know. Oh, there he is. Okay. Oh, he's running around in circles. That's easy. Easiest stealth of my life. Tip, attacking without a weapon will do nothing. Oh, so we need the freaking plunger to do damage. That's good to know, good to know. Okay. Objective, use stealth and escape. Oh, oh my god. Okay. Okay. I'm not exactly sure. How to use stealth in this situation. Where are the nosy noses? I'm waiting for one to come by so I can run past. I hear the freaking steps. I have the flashlight. Okay, okay he's running over there. Let me let me check out how long it takes for him to run around. I am assuming he runs in circles. Uh, let's see. Oh, there are 
Okay, that are. Okay. Oh my god, this is actually like kind of. Kind of spooky, oh my god. Oh my god, that, 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 that actually like spooked me. Okay. It's not good. I'm getting spooked, even though this shouldn't be spooky. I guess we previously ran the wrong way, we should have run this way. I don't know where the nosy noses are, I don't see them. I do see the exit door, so let's just run for it. Uh, tip. Health is the most important thing. Take a break, go outside, spend time with loved ones. Well, that's a good tip. Unless you don't have loved ones to spend time with. Pew. That was a close one, Daddy. I didn't think we would make it out alive. Thanks for saving me, son. I thought I was going to get deep fried. I think we bit off more than we could chew. Or at least, I did. True. Maybe I'm not as good of a bounty hunter as I thought I was. Let's go home. Come on, Dad. Don't be hard on yourself. At least you tried. Yeah, at least you tried. SSHHH, Dad. Shut up for a second. Listen, do you hear that sound? I don't. I just hear the forest noises. And suddenly loading. If you think the game crashed, give it a couple seconds before closing it. It's just being a stupid donkey, apparently. Makes sense, makes sense. We shall see. Objective three question marks. Uh, I guess our objective is that thing over there. Let's go ahead and say hi to it. Not entirely sure what it is, but hopefully nothing spooky. And yet another loading, apparently. Attacking without a weapon will do nothing. I already seen this tip. And I don't know how to get weapons, so... Okay. What do you think is in it, Dad? I think it's a... I don't know, son. It's a Stand potato, back. man. I'm going to open it. Well, big reveal. It's the freaking something, something. Well, oh, hello. I have no idea what that is. Uh, but, okay. Was that Miss Pac-Man? From the 90s? Could be, could be. Dad. Dad. Wake up. Come on. Oh my god, what a creepy face. Oh my god, the eyelashes. Oh my god, what are they doing to me? 
What happened? Okay. You passed out, Dad. But look. Everything is okay. She is on our side. She. Hello. My name is Lena. Lena the Lemon. I'm the one who called in about that anonymous tip. Oh my god. It's the freaking lemon. Lana the Lemon. Anonymous tip lady. Just Listen a tip. To me, please. Potato man. Told me to call you. Okay. Wait. You're working with Potato Man? Please. Let me just explain. Potato Man knew that you were closing in on him. He knew that he was being hunted. The he Lord. Knows that you are the best bounty hunter out there. So he decided to hunt you down before you hunted him down. The whole thing was a setup from the start. He forced me to call you and tell you to come to this location. We were ambushed. You know what? Forget it. I'm done. I'm going home. Such a deep lore. No. Wait. Please. You can't go. I need your help. Potato Man kidnapped my husband. He said he would deep fry him. That's not he good. He stuffed me in that box and left me to expire. Oh no. We can work as a team and take him down together. Please don't give up. I don't even know how to find him. This wasn't even his hideout. I know exactly where his hideout is. I can take you there. That's convenient. He lives in a big castle. North from here. I can get us there. So what do you say? Let us I... send Potato Man tonight. I say I just yes. Know you can do it. I'm sure I can. Okay. I'm in. Let's do this. Take me to his real hideout. Let's roll. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love crime fighting. I love you, Daddy. Oh my god, I love, I you, love you, Daddy. Son. Oh, Alush. What a lovely moment. I wish my daddy was here. Daddy. Okay. Starting a new game from the main menu will erase all previous save data, apparently. That's interesting to know. Let's see. Oh my god, is that the castle of the potato man? It's look like it looks like a reject design from Lego Ninjago. There it is. Potato Tower. Oh my god. I must warn you. That tower is very dangerous. So, this is Potato Man's hideout. How do we get in? Through the door. Follow me. I can get us in. Okay, let's see. I bet it's going to be through the door. Uh, tip. To get the full horror of the Potato Man, play this game in a dark room with the door closed, Volu volume all the way up, and all lights turned off, apparently. Well, I am in a dark room. Go to the Potato Tower. I shall do so. However, I will follow the lemon, because the lemon told us to follow her. Uh, let's see. It's a weird looking... Weird looking tower, I must say. Look at the lemon walking with the sway. This is an interesting game, I must say. Music is kind of dope at the moment. Uh, why doesn't this lemon go straight for the door?
we shall we shall we shall follow it and hopefully it will get there eventually so far we've spent an hour in this game which is already a bit more than i all expected previously i didn't think this game would be so long but I'm glad to see it's longer than expected. Uh, let's see. We are getting closer. I do wish the lemon had slightly faster animation, but that's okay. And Surprise, surprise. We are coming in through the main door. Just like I expected. Yo, you. Thanks for supporting the game. You are awesome. Says the loading screen. Uh, no, no problemo. It was cheap anyways. I bought it during the Christmas the discounts. Heroes, you. Dad. Look. I found an item you can use as a weapon. Okay. Sneak up behind an enemy and attack it. I believe in you, Daddy. Have brave heart. That is an eye in the freaking mirror. That's interesting. We got the weapon. What the heck was that? Okay. We killed one of the nosy noses. You love to see it. Okay, another one is down. Another one is down. I'm not sure how will I be able to sneak up on that running one. Especially since he seems to be... Oh my god. Okay, we got killed by the potato man. I found an item you can use as a weapon. Sneak up behind an enemy and attack it. Okay. I believe in you, Daddy. I think the potato man killed us because it took us a bit too long to progress. So I will attempt to kind of speedrun it now. I'm pretty sure I killed him, but he killed me as well, so that's not good. I found an item you can use Let's try as again. Sneak up behind an enemy and At least it's getting less spooky you, the more you do it, because you already heart. sort of know what to expect. Which is good. Okay. Let's let the freaking enemy pass through. Uh, I guess he's stuck. We need to wait till he turns around. Can you please turn around before the potato man comes? There we go, he went away. I'm pretty sure that's the exit. He didn't see us. Easy win, I guess. Starting a new game, I already seen this tip. Nice. Indeed. Daddy, this music is nice. Yeah, it's the freaking elevator music. 
son. When Potato Man captured me back there. What happened to you? Oh yeah. I forgot to tell you. I was also attacked. But not by Potato Man. Oh my god. Potato Man isn't working alone, Dad. What do the you plot mean isn't twist. working alone? What happened, son? The I will Lord. tell you more on the next elevator ride, Dad. We have reached the first floor. Okay. So much lore in this game. If you don't have any coffee cream, you can use a regular milk instead. That's a, that's a nice pro gamer tip. From the freaking potato game. So... I am guessing we just need to avoid these freaking Roombas on the floor. Shouldn't be too difficult. This will be... This will be more difficult. Uh, let's see. What the frick? How was I supposed to know that there was something on the freaking ceiling about to drop in? Okay. Let's try again. Let's wait for this to pass. There we go. Uh, let's wait. Let's roll. I guess we must go this way. makes sense and the elevator has been reached uh, once again with the escape key in okay so as I was saying earlier potato man isn't working alone okay I was attacked by another enemy I analyzed it its name is Source Nose. Source Nose? That's a bit worrying. Source Nose is some kind of computer virus. Oh. When we went to that house, I saw Source Nose. It's it that guy. attached itself to my brain unit. This caused me to malfunction. I started seeing things that weren't there, like hallucinations. It felt like I was walking in circles. Oh. I had to run my data devil antivirus program to pull source nose out. That's interesting. When I took out source nose, I was able to function properly again. Then oh my I tracked God. you down. Source Nose might still be around here somewhere. We need to be careful. Potato Man isn't the only danger here. It's like actual deep lore story. Everything explained. So intriguing. But the question is, will we be able to take out Potato Man? Only time will tell. I see. Now I understand. Everything in the game makes sense now. I guess. Man. This is a long elevator ride. But, thanks for explaining the story. Son, I love you. I love you too, Dad. We are at the next floor. Get ready. I am ready. Yo, you. Thanks for supporting the game. Set the loading screen once again.
objective get to the floor three okay i can do that i think especially with this weapon judo chops uh never mind let's try again with this weapon over here now we just need to sneak up on this enemy over hmm he is no longer there that's interesting Well, seems like we managed to reach the next elevator. I always remember to brush teeth before going to bed, says the loading tip number. I don't know how many we've seen so far. Definitely a nice tip. Since we are in an elevator, why don't we just go straight up to the top floor? It's a good because question. Dad. Potato tower isn't built straight up. Don't you remember what it looks like from the outside? It uh, is designed no. like a set of stairs. Really? Each floor goes slightly to the right. It's so interesting. It is right. Up. Right. And so on. Oh. Okay. I understand. Makes you sense. Are so smart, robot son. It is not that hard, Dad. Stupid. Stupid donkey. You are a stupid donkey. Oh my god. Hey, now don't give me that robot attitude, boy. You didn't even finish college. Donkey. Excuse Stopped. me, boy. That's not nice. Just kidding, Dad. I heart you. Oh. I thought so. Remember, kids. Stay in school. Indeed. Finish college and get that degree. Or don't. I don't really care. Mm. Just do what you want to do. I agree with that. Listen to your heart. That's true. Just pursue your dreams, yo. Indeed. I believe in you. You can accomplish anything. Okay. Okay. Dad. Interacting with the players. This is called breaking the fourth wall. Apparently so. Health is the most important thing. Take a break, go outside, spend time with locked ones. Yet another loading tip. And we are back in the action. What? How? Who are you guys? Couch potatoes. No good lazy bums. Completely useless characters. They are, are not nobody. evil. Move along. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get out of the way, old man. Trying to watch potato flicks. I see. Look, we didn't ask to be a part of whatever you're trying to do, okay, man? Whoa, absolutely useless. You potatoes are a joke. Worthless. Eat dirt, you donkeys. Donkey. And the screen fades to black. And starting a new game deletes all the previous saved files. So there you have it folks, also welcome back Monix. It do be loading, there we are. Objective, get to floor 4. First things first. 
If I attack this TV, I will turn it The potatoes do be kind of sus. What will they do if I turn off their television? Apparently they will just stare at me with a disappointed look. That's okay. Let's proceed. Another three potatoes. And another television ready to be disabled by me. It's no longer midnight, I don't think. Now it kind of seems like it could be maybe the... Maybe like 3 a.m. almost. Although that wouldn't make much sense. Um, maybe it's still midnight. Both of those heads look kind of like minute, minute ones. Which is what confuses me. Also some interesting art on the walls I must say. Very, very... Potato, oh my god. Okay, we died. I guess the key to victory is to maybe not turn off their TVs, because that makes Potato Man mad. Let's just try running up that hill. With the freaking potatoes staring at us. Oh my god. There is a huge one outside of the walls. It's not good. There are these boars in the thing. I guess there must be a button somewhere, or we do need, in fact, turn off the TVs in order to proceed. Ah, uh, I do be do be confused about the situation. Hopefully, I can figure it out. Seems like the boards are still in place. They are still there. Maybe this fourth television will turn them off. Yep, that got rid of them. Now the question is, can we make it to the elevator before the potato man shows up? I kind of doubt it, but let's see. Maybe we will get lucky. Seems like he's nowhere nearby at the moment, which gives me hopes that maybe we can make it. And seems like we did it. So that's another elevator reached. I shall take a little sip. Oh my god. Hey. Hi. Hello. Good evening. Hello, Drachanaeron. My name is Mr. Fancy Potato. Mr. Fancy Potato. First class potato. I'm so fancy. Apparently. 
I could not help but overhear you talking to my voice. Yeah. They no good lazy couch potatoes man. Now I know they might not seem like they do much. As their father, I want to teach them that hard work pays off. We want to help you young man. The next floors of Potato Tower are very dangerous. It is full of many dangerous traps. I have dispatched my potato children throughout the next floors. They will assist you in your journey to the top. If you see one of my boys, you can pick him up and use him as a shield. Oh, that's interesting. Do you guys smell that? What? Who farted? It wasn't me, I swear. I can't smell anything cuz I'm a robot. Okay, loading. Always remember to brush teeth before going to bed. It's the tip of the day. Okay, that seems difficult. Can I pick you up and use you? Oh, I see how it works. Okay. Uh, why is it zooming on on me? Please, no, no. Okay. Uh, how do I get? Okay. Can I squeeze through here? I can. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, oh. Okay. Let me pick up another potato and hopefully... I can squeeze through the elevator. Yep, we did it. If you don't have any coffee cream, you can use a regular milk instead. Says the tip. Also... An average Twitch user 62 has come into the chat. Welcome to the chat. We are playing the freaking potato trailer, which Man, is so far that was a, tough floor. a weird game, but kind of fun. But we made it, Dad. That is all that matters. Yes, that floor was indeed a challenge. Seems like okay. the pot. We are almost at the top. Seems like the potato is farting the a lot. Floor is the final floor. It's the potato. It will not be easy. There's that smell again. Oh gosh, it's awful. Thank you for the smell. Hack, Dracaneron. What smell? I don't smell anything at all. Also, Jack the man, welcome to the stream. We are currently watching. Excuse me. Some sort of a farting yeah. cutscene. That last floor was pretty tough. And it's loading. If you feel the game is getting boring, try playing it in a new way, like upside down or while doing sit-ups. Uh, Banana Split says, watching potatoes fart, indeed, indeed. Truly the peak of gaming. And objective, get to the roof. The potatoes on this floor are useless, apparently. This should be... Oh my god, I didn't see the freaking thing was on the roof. On the ceiling. Okay. 
Uh, I see. I just need to dodge it by. Dad, that's crying oil. Like the kind they use at fast food places. <laughs> Such as fries and onion rings. What the heck? The steam coming out is harmless. But that oil can kill for sure. Okay. Be careful. It's Touching the spikes. Touching the spikes. It's very good for your skin. <laughs> It's not good. Don't get okay. Fried. okay. This is actually kind of difficult with the controls that we are given because it doesn't really control that well. And I'm not sure if the hitboxes are accurate. Oh my god. I was. I was so close to reaching the next floor. Okay, I didn't time that correctly. That's okay. Let's try again. Yeah, the game is uh, kind of randomly loud and randomly quiet. I'm not really sure why. And suddenly yeah. I keep dying. That's frying oil. Like the kind they use at fast food. <laughs> Fry foods such as fries and onion rings. The steam yeah. coming out is harmless. But that oil can kill for sure. Be careful. If I if I go slowly. Fry you. It's very good for your skin. You need your skin. Don't get fried. If I go slowly, I should be able to deal with this but it do be kind of difficult with these controls so hopefully okay. yeah this this is this is kind of difficult okay it's okay we can do this it might take a couple of tries, yeah. but I'm sure we can That's eventually like the kind get they use through. In fast food places to fry foods such as fries and onion rings. The steam coming out is harmless. It's really difficult to turn because when you move forward, he takes a while to turn. It has this sort of a weird like tank controls of sort. Dad, that's frying oil. Like the kind they so avoiding this places. particular room is kind of Fry difficult. Such as fries and onion rings. The steam coming out is harmless. But that oil can kill for sure. Okay. Also, I'm not you. sure how are we triggering the for your skin. spikes you need your skin. when we are Don't clearly not touching them. But that's okay, that's okay. Eventually we will succeed. Watch out for the mines, those are insta-kill. Okay, that wasn't very nice. Potato men randomly appeared and killed us Dad, when we were doing so well. Frying oil. Like the kind they use <laughs> to fry food such as uh, Jack the Man ring. says go through the smoke. Coming out is harmless. I think the Be smoke careful. is also insta kill. I don't think it is very good for you. You need your oh skin. My God. Don't get fried. The explosions. Oh my god, we did it. Okay. I forgot to check the ceiling. There was another one of the... Another one of the freaking falling objects. Dad. Okay. That's frying oil. Like the kind they use... 
to fry foods such as fries I wish, onion I wish it wasn't so the loud. Steam coming out is harmless. <laughs> can kill for sure. Be careful. It the game is fry you. otherwise kind of I don't think it is very good for you. quiet, you except for these don't get fried. Okay, so that is the... That is the thing. Let's go this way. Can we squeeze through? Uh, I'm guessing we need to get over there. I think we should be able... Okay. I kind of expected that to happen, but we are good. Let's see. Uh, nothing on the ceiling. We reached the elevator finally. That was that was that was probably the most difficult part so far. I am glad we managed to reach the exit. Let's see. Another cutscene. That last floor was really really really. UMM. Yeah. Exactly. All right, boys. Get a ready. Potato Man is on the next floor. Let us end this. Sounds like a boss fight. Boys, I have a confession to make. It smells so bad in here, I swear. The stank is legit. It's me. What? I am the one who has been releasing the so-called stank. Oh really? What a relief. I was starting to think it was me. Look. I just can't help it. I'm old okay. An old fancy potato who farts. My farts Makes just sense. release themselves. No warning at all. Dad never gave me a smelling unit. I'm a robot. Oh, that's some lore. Oh, by the way, Lana the Lemon is my wife. She called you guys to rescue me from Potato Man A and D. Well, I think you know the story already. Such deep story. I hate my job. Reminds me of Shakespeare. Very, very deep storytelling. Okay, where we are? There is the potato man. The thunder strikes. Okay, let's see what will happen now. Potato Man. Just a furry furball. Hello there. Welcome to the stream. Potato Man Most Wanted Killer has made an Kept appearance. Me waiting, huh? What? Kept me waiting. Huh? 
That's H Hideo Kojima reference. I said, kept me waiting, huh? Kept me waiting, huh? Kept me waiting, huh? Okay. Oh my god. The lore is so deep. Oh. Honey. Are you okay? Are you injured? I was so worried. Hey baby. I'm so happy to see you. Don't worry about me. I'm fine. These two fine gentlemen rescued me. We did. Okay, Potato Man. Here. I'll yield the bounty hunter to you. <gasps> now We've let been... me and my fancy rich husband go. We've been bamboozled by the deal lemon. Is a deal. Okay. Fine. I will hold up my end of the bargain. You and Fancy Farts are free to go. Get out of here. He smells. Lana the lemon and Mr. Fancy right, Potato Tato teleported man. to safety. We got you. Put your hands up and surrender. Do it now. You're okay. going to jail for a long time. No. Make me. I ain't going to no prison. Is this going to be an actual boss fight? Dad. Potato man kind of sounds like a robot. Could he be? Hey. Potato man. Are you some kind of robot? I ain't the plot going twist. down without a fight. Get them source nose. Source them nose. Give them a beat down. Okay. Oh, that's kind of creepy. I'm hungry, apparently. Break their kneecaps. Not the kneecaps. Was even going on anymore at this point? Dad. Our kneecaps are in danger. Yeah, that's not good. I will handle this. I'll take on Source Nose. You get Potato Man. Son, no. It's too dangerous. Dad. I need to do this. I got this. So it's basically 1v1. Oh. Okay. It's boss fight time, I think. Well, it looks like it is just you and me now. Donkey. I'm he called you down. Bring it on, mate. He called us a donkey. That's not. I'm nice. not mate. I am Potato Man. You gone get deep fried, boy. Loading. Uh, tip. Health is the most important thing. Take a break, go outside, spend time with locked ones. Apparently that's a nice tip. What happened? I'm not entirely sure, to be honest, but we are apparently... ...supposed to fight this potato. Did we do it? I don't know if we won or if we lost. Oh, Not we got backhanded. Potato man wins again. Okay, that was underwhelming. We lost. Ah, uh, that's not good. 
How do I defeat the potato man? That's the question. Maybe we need to do something else. Meanwhile... Okay. Source nose, nosy computer wires. And Oh shit. I'm so dead. Yo. Uh this game has an autosave feature, winky face. Set the loading screen. Good to good to know that we are autosaved. That's a weird noise. Lower face, okay. my head. The one. I see a chain. Are we about to get like frying oil? Deep fried. Oh no no no. Chat. This isn't good. Oh yeah, we are about to get deep fried. It's the freaking frying room. The plot deepens. I love how the potato man is wearing the high heels. Really gives him that extra bit of character. Well, well, well. Look who finally woke up. You will never get away with this potato man. You call yourself the world's best bounty hunter. Yet, I easily captured you twice. My potato punch is amazing. Anyway, I wanted you to be awake when I deep fried you. This is what I should have done the first time. Say good night to the bad potato. Cause this the last time you gonna see him. Lower the basket. We having bounty hunter for dinner tonight? That's not good. So very Hi. slow lowering. I guess this is it then. Potato man is right. What kind of bounty hunter am I? I'm nothing but a failure. A loser. Suddenly the sad music kicks the in. The world would be better without me. Oh, that's really hot. Probably won't survive this. You gun be real crispy, boy. Ow, ow, ow. Hot. 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 Well, we've been deep fried. Is this how the story ends? Alright. This is what actually happened. Oh, it's it's Lower been a... Basket. We having bounty hunter for dinner tonight? It's been a fake... What the heck? Uh, that makes sense, that makes sense. What the hell? The story is so deep. So many plot twists. I don't know what is happening. Potato man isn't a real potato. He's a robot. Oh, I see. And I guess he is having some glitching going on. Oh, is he about to deep fry? Okay, that was a very slow motion death. 
he's still sparkling under the oil. Interesting. Dad. Son. Robot son. Source knows jammed his operating system. It's true. I could destroy Potato Man. Because I created him. Okay, um, I don't know what to say about that. So I, I guess... I Potato Man because I wanted to learn more about humans. I wanted huh. to see how well humans would interact with artificial intelligence I created. In order oh. for humans to not be suspicious of anything. I designed Potato Man to fit in. Yeah, he fits in. I made in. him not look like a robot. So he would fit in with everyone else. Yeah, he clearly fits in very well. I created his body out of a potato. Because, humans are very organic creatures. I thought it would be best to create a robot out of something organic as well. Well, makes sense. So makes I sense. used a potato for the body. It was perfect and even generated electricity. Most humans look like potatoes anyway. No one would notice a thing. For his ears, I used cat's ears. I thought, this would help him fit in even more. Because cats and shit like that is so popular on the internet. Oh, it's the cat boy For potato. Mobility, I gave him a nice pair of legs with heels. The design was perfect. Well, at least on paper it was. Everything was going fine until he started deep frying people for no reason. Must have been a glitch or something in the system. I don't know. I never said the AI was perfect. Potato Man turned out to be a useless experiment in the end. Wow. What a reveal. You made a monster, but then destroyed your own creation. You did the right thing. Maybe you're not so bad after all. Well then, it looks like our work here is done. Thanks for the help. Come on, robot son. Let's go home. So we Dad. reached the ending, I, I guess. I realized that my creation was terrible. But your creation is perfect. Robot Sun is designed so well. He almost seems like an actual human. What is Source Nose talking about, Sun? Dad, I can't go home. You see, Mr. Hunter, I made a deal with Robot Sun. If I don't let Potato Man deep fry you, I get to take over Robot Sun's operating system. You're oh, insane. No. Sorry. But a deal is a deal. What is happening? Okay. Son, no, 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 no. I can't let this happen. Dad. It's too late. I am already infected with source nose virus. We can't stop it. By sunrise. I will have completely lost control over my operating system. It's okay, Dad. We are the heroes we have always wanted to be. What are you trying to say, son? We can't let someone like Source Nose keep creating weird stuff in this world. He is in my head right now. Hacking away. Taking over. There is only one way to put an end to all this. Once and for all. No. Stop. Destroying myself. Will permanently destroy Source Nose and everything else he created. This is what's best for the world. Oh my god. Thank you for everything, Dad. I love you. 
That is so sad. What a plot twist. Oh my god, our son is getting deep fried. What a sad ending. Didn't expect to see such such ending. was ever deep fried again. The end. Well, okay, that was interesting, uh, I must say. Didn't expect this at all when I originally booted up this game. That was interesting. I'm not really sure how to review this game, what score to give it, because it's... Hey, hey, hi, hello, hey, congratulations, you finished the game, don't you feel pretty good? Uh, thank you so much for playing. I hope you enjoyed the game. I know I had a lot of fun creating it, but uh, yeah, good job. I'm proud of you. Thanks once again for playing. Uh, you stay awesome and have a good day. Now listen to this music in the background. It's really awesome music. I uh, I think you will like it. Okay, bye. Okay. Apparently, apparently. The developer is glad that we played it, which is nice to hear. So yeah, I'm not sure how to review this game because it's highly unusual. Also quite weird. It was also quite spooky at some points. Um, it's also very very cheap, you can get it for a rather small price, so... I would say I enjoyed it, I would recommend it. It took us roughly two hours to beat, it was fun. Definitely a bit weird, but fun, I enjoyed it. I'm not sure what to do now. Do I just wait for this to close or do I press escape? I guess main menu. Let's see what's in the extras. I'm not sure what this is. Let's check. Ah, what a lovely day at the park. I'm a pretty cool guy. I think I will go and try to make some new friends today. Oh my god, we get to play as the potato man. Knockout. 
potato hey, man. Hey, watch where you're walking, you stupid donkey. Go eat some hay or something. Knockout. Potato man wins. It's like I cannot knock out the enemies, okay? Hey, Knockout. watch it. Potato I'm walking wins. here. Interesting, interesting. Potato man wins. Objective so socialize with the park devils. What are you, some kind of walking piece of poop? Get out of my way. I already forgo forgot the colors that we bumped into. Hey you, you like hot dogs? Well, if you like hot dogs. You can buy hot dogs at this park in the afternoon from the hot dog man. Apparently we can buy hot dogs. You don't look like somebody I could trust. Mission complete. Okay. Let's go for mission two. Man. I got really, really, really fat. Ah. <sighs> I better jog around the park and get back into shape if I want to impress the ladies. To make me run, just hold down the shit key. This will initiate the jogging mode. You can either use the left shit key or the right shit key. Now let's go and get back into shape so we can impress the ladies. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, we can run. <laughs> Okay. Check around the park, I guess. We need to go through all the circles, maybe. Seems like that might be the key to victory. Hey. Nine. Ten. It's a bit difficult to control, but oh, no. mission failed. Okay, mission failed. Let me try again. Man. I got really, really, Although really I'm not sure fat. what is the purpose of these extras. <sighs> I better jog around the park and get Maybe back into they shape will if unlock I want something. to impress the ladies. To make me run, just hold down the shit key. Doesn't seem like I can skip the dialogues, it just put that me back into the menu. Let's just go into the third one, let's see what's the third one about. Uh... <sighs> All that running around, an exercise, sure made me hungry. I think I should go and try to find something to eat now, so I can regain my energy and stamina. But isn't Potato Man a robot? You don't look like somebody I could trust. Yeah. Go buy a hot dog. dogs in the park. So come, give me money, 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 and I will give you my hoot dog. You can eat my big, juicy hoot dog. It will fill you right up. Hot dog man's hoot dogs. The best hoot dogs around. Hoot dogs, come get your hoot dogs here. I got the big, juicy hoot dogs. I'm hot dog man, and I got the big... Probably the most Hello. interesting character I've ever, ever saw. Big juicy hot dogs, so I can eat it. I'm very hungry. Hi, I am Hot Dog Man. One big juicy hot dog coming right up, sir. Ooh, those hot dogs look so good. What is your secret? Ha 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 ha! Well, well. I don't normally tell people the secret to my hot dogs, but you seem like a trustworthy guy. So I guess I will tell you. The secret is that I naturally produce a lot of hot dogs. 
These hot dogs are actually my children. I just don't know what to do with all of them. So I decided to just start a hot dog business out of it. But uh, don't tell anyone about this, okay? <laughs> no, daddy! Why don't you let us know, daddy? Please, no! Shh, stop whining. Now go, make me money, money. Of course not, Mr. Hot Dog Man. Your secret is safe with me. Thank you so much for these delicious hot dogs. You have a good day. My head is so bamboozled by this game. Objective, enjoy your hot dog. Oh, we must go over here. It's the lemon. Oh, oh, oh. who is this lovely lady? Ah, ha, 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 ha. Well, that there is Lana. Lana the lemon. Isn't she a lovely fox? She comes to the park every day to eat my hot dog. Yep. Why don't you go say hello to her? She's real friendly. Okay. Hey, baby. The name's Potato Man. How you doing? I couldn't help but notice you over here being all cool and lemony. Hey, Listen, uh, do you uh, maybe want to go for a walk around the park together later on and we can get to know each other a little bit better? Maybe? Maybe, baby? Hey, baby. La, 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 la. Huh? Oh, hey, hi, hello. My name's Lana. Lana the Lemon, you could just call me Lemon if you want to, tee <laughs> or not, I don't really care, but yeah, I love making new friends, I would love to go for a walk with you later on, see you soon Mr. Tato Man, tee <laughs> I'm gonna go get ready now, so uh, uh, I'll see you, <clears throat> I mean, I'll see you in a couple of hours for our walk, our special walk. Bye bye. Yes. Yes. She said yes. It must be my lucky day. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I feel all warm and uh, fuzzy and uh, giggly inside. I better go uh, get ready and uh, freshen up a bit. Ah, man. All right. I will see you later on, baby. Uh, I mean, Miss Lemon. We did it! I am no longer fat. Honestly, I don't even know what to say because this game is... ...quite something. Um... Okay, let's go to the fourth one, I guess. Let's see what happens next. Objective, wow. go for I must a say, walk. You look even more beautiful under this moonlight. Um. Tee <laughs> Oh, stop it. You're making me blush. Ha! <laughs> Isn't the moon lovely? I love going for walks at night. It's so peaceful and nothing bad ever happens. Yes. The night time is the perfect time to deep fry someone. Um. <clears throat> um. I mean, uh. Excuse me. I mean water plants, yes, it's uh, the perfect time to water plants. Tee <laughs> Oh, you're so funny, Potato Man. So tell me a little bit about yourself. What do you do? Where are you from? What are your hobbies? Oh man, I think you might actually be into me. Come on, Potato Man, don't mess this up. I think I actually like her too. Oh, me? Ha 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 ha. Well... I don't know. 
I'm not really that interesting. I enjoy deep fry. I mean, uh, socializing with people. I, uh, I work at a factory. And we, uh, we make, um, we make marshmallows. Yes, I work at a marshmallow factory. That is what I do for a living. I make uh, marshmallows. Mm -hmm. Wow, you're so smart and talented. You know, Potato Man, you seem like a really great guy. I'm glad we met. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I think she she really likes me. Ah, you're so smooth with the ladies, me. I still got it after all. I wonder why is okay, she okay. under the ground? Keep it together, Potato Man. Just tell her how you feel. Uh, hey Lana, I uh, have something to- Hey, I brought us hot dogs. I bought them from Hot Dog Man about 8 hours earlier. They're a little cold, but I thought we could enjoy them on our night walk. On our little nighttime walk is what I mean. Ah. Oh, uh, uh, thank you, Lana. Yuck, that is a disgusting hot dog. Uh, stay focused. I need to tell Lana that I love her. <clears throat> Lana, listen up. I want to tell you something. I think that I am in, uh, I think that I am in love. Hold on a second, Potato Man. Let's go find a nice bench to sit on and relax. You could tell me what you, whatever it is you want to <sighs> tell me when we get to the bench. Um, okay, yes, sure, of course. When we get to that bench, I will tell you what uh, I want to tell you. Why is she underground? And who the heck is this? Ghost of the freaking game or something. Let me sit down on the bench. There we go. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what is she doing. It might be kind of soft lock because she doesn't seem to be moving anymore. <laughs> Yeah, I think we just need to skip to the fifth one. It's okay, we can we can do it. Hmm. I haven't seen Lana the Lemon at the park in over a week. Ever since what happened last time, she hasn't come back. I hope she's okay. I really miss her. No, well, she did fall hmm. through the floor. Maybe someone at the park might know where she has been. I should go ask around. Okay. I heard that there was a robbery here at the park recently. That's all I know. Sorry, dude. I, I haven't, haven't seen, seen a girl around anywhere. Yeah. 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 Maybe you should ask Hot Dog Man. He might know something. But a bunch of chum. Llama? Did you say llama? I heard that there was a robbery here. Yeah. Close friends, I. I guess I better wait around until the afternoon and ask Hot Dog Man if he has any information Sorry, dude, about my lovely lemon. And Lama? maybe I will grab a hot dog. All this yeah. detective work is really making me hungry. We did it. Mission, mission complete. No longer fat. This one was easy. Let's go to the sixth. The lore freaking deepens. Finally, Hot Dog Man is here. Time to ask him if he has seen Lana. Hello, Mr. Hot Dog Man. Um, I heard that you and Lana are uh, close friends. 
I've been a little worried about her because she hasn't come to the park in over a week. Um, I just wanted to see if she's okay. Do you know anything about her? Ah, Mr. Tato Man. Hey, welcome back. Yes, uh, unfortunately I heard about what happened last week here at the park. Lana is terrified to come back. She said that this ghost was a super mean to her and that she would not come back until he was arrested. Ah, I sure do miss giving her my hot dog. Hey, by the way, do you want my hot dog? You uh, want to buy my hot dogs? Hmm? Hmm? You hungry? You want some hot dogs? Hmm? You want to give me some money? Buy my hot dog? Hmm? 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 Yes, uh, actually, I am quite hungry. I'll take five. Five hot dogs, please. Hmm. There has to be a way to make Lana feel safe here at the park again. But how? Hmm. Oh! Oh, oh! I got it! Why don't we capture this ghost punk ourselves? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, ah, uh, that is a great idea, Mr. Tato. Usually, the ghosts appear during the night time. We need to camp out here until then. I hear that these type of ghosts are attracted to hot dogs. Ahem. <clears throat> or should I say, hoot dogs. We can set a trap and lure the ghost to us. Then we capture him and take him to jail. By the way, buy my hot dogs. They're on sale and they're delicious and uh, give me money. Yes, hot dog man. That is a genius plan. I will see you later on at night time so we can carry out operation. Ghost. Capture ghost. Uh, capture the ghost. Punk. Yes. <laughs> I can't wait. I am the potato man with the potato plan. Lana will love me and think I am her hero. Good, good, excellent. Alright, I will see you later on, princess. Princess? Okay. We did it. I am no longer fat. I am so confused by this game, oh my god. I have no idea what the heck is going on, but let's continue to the seventh chapter. Let's see what's up. Thank you for your help, hot dog man. I'm really looking forward to capturing this ghost yeah, punk. Yeah, yeah. Hey, don't worry about it. I was glad to help a fellow customer. And Lana is also my friend. Follow me. Let's do this. When I see that ghost, I'm really going to kick his butt. <laughs> okay, princess. I'm going to set the hot dog trap. When the ghost shows up, you sneak up on him and knock him out. Sound good, princess? Um, I'm not princess. I am potato man. But yes, sounds good. Let's do this. Okay, sounds like a plan. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Okay, princess. I finished setting up the trap. Now we just have to wait for Ghost Boy to show up. Ooh, <laughs> a jackpot! <laughs> Looks like I'm having hot dogs for dinner tonight. <laughs> what stupid donkey left out all these hot dogs here on the ground? Whatever, they belong to Ghost Boy now. <laughs> nom nom nom. Oh, so delicious. Nom nom nom. Okay. Knock out the Ghost Boy. Nom nom nom. Nom nom nom. you, you piece of shit. Nice. Mwa ha ha ha. Yes, a revenge. This is what happens when you mess with my beloved Lana. Hey, we did it, princess. Okay, we got him. Now uh, let's go turn him into the cops. Um, uh, thank you, hot dog man, for your help. But I think I can take it from here. Why don't you go get some rest? I'll take Ghost Boy to the cops. Well, um, okay, potato man. I am pretty sleepy and have work tomorrow anyway. But hey, let me at least help you carry Ghost Boy over to the police station. No, no. No, that's okay. Uh, I got this, really. 
I will take him. You have a good night, hot dog man. Um, maybe I will come buy a hot dog from you tomorrow, okay? Hey, well, okay, princess. See you later. Okay. I guess we will deep fry him. Ah, man, my head. What's that smell? Thank you for the hug. Wakey, ghosty. Yeah. <laughs> what the shit? Ah, uh, hmm. Wha what is this place? Where am I? Ha 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 ha. Yes. Welcome to my, eh, uh, how should I say it? Lab. Welcome to my lab. Holy shit. Um, am I going to die? Please let me go, Mr. Turd. I will never bother you or your fat cow girlfriend ever again. Please, 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 please. <laughs> You've gone and made a big mistake, boy. Hmm. Ghost boy. Ah, see? I remembered your name, just like you told me to. You've gone and upset my lovely Lana, and now you will pay the ultimate price. <coughs> I'm scared. I want my mommy. Mommy! <coughs> Stop making that noise. You're not a donkey. No. Prepare to get the deep fried, son. Okay, that's a slow way to die. Oh no! Oh! <laughs> Okay. I am so confused. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, come on. Ah, I've been holding that one in all night. Um, uh, mission complete. Good job. Okay. Is the eight the next one? I think eight is the next one. Objective is question marks. <laughs> Hello. Hey, good day, sir. Mind if I take a seat over here? Yes, actually, I do. I don't want a giant potato with, um, um, are those cat ears? Get lost, you weirdo. Thanks. I'll just sit on right here. What the hell, man? Are, 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 are you kidding me? There's literally empty park benches all over the park, and and you decide to just come and sit and and shit here, right next to me. Unbelievable. <sighs> it's been a full month now, and still no sign of Lana the Lemon. I don't know where she is or if I will ever see her again. All I could do is come to this park and hope that one day she might appear. <sighs> I will wait forever if I have to. And there's still no sign of Lana Bolana. This guy sitting next to me on my bench could have sat anywhere else in the park, but no, he had to sit right next to me. Stupid dumb potato sitting next to me on my bench and ruining my whole day. Stupid dumb donkey potato. Stupid, stupid dumb potato.
but it's a bit sad. Poor Mr. Potato. Waiting for the lemon. For the number nine, let's see. I know you would. Yeah, I got a fresh one right here. Huh? Is oh that Lana? It is. It is Lana. Right here. Oh my God! She made a comeback. Yeah, I got a fresh one right here. Lana, where have you been? I have been looking for you for forever. What uh, what happened to you? You just disappeared after that one day we walked in the park. I missed you so much. Oh, hi, Tato Man. Yeah, how are you? I missed you too. It's good to see you again. Hey, baby, listen. I gotta get back to work now. I will see you later on tonight here at the park for our, um, ha 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 ha, a special date. Ha 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 ha. Oh, um, nice seeing you again too, Tato Man. I mean, princess. Ha 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 ha. Thank you for the hug and thank you for special the Special date? Uh, later tonight? Very lovely. Uh, what is Hot Dog Man talking about, Lana? Tee oh it's nothing. Just some private personal matters, that's all. Tee Lana, listen. I have been wanting to tell you something that's been on my mind. <sighs> okay, I'm just going to come out of it and say it. Lana, I love you, and I want you to get m I want us to get marriage. Yes, I I want us to get marriage and become a, a marriage couple. Yes. There, I said it. Um what do you think? Can we get marriage? Oh, 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 oh. Um, listen, Tato, I like you. You're a great vegetable, but, um, I like you only as a side dish. Like, I just don't want to have potato every day, if you know what I'm saying. You're a good guy, Tato Man, but I don't think we're meant for each other. Lana. What, uh, what are you saying? I don't love you and I don't want to date you, damn it! Oops, sorry, Potato Man, I didn't mean to yell. Anyway, I'm seeing someone else right now. Tee hee Listen, um, I hope you find the right one someday. It's been really nice hanging out with you. Okay, bye. Ouch. I feel... I feel like... I feel like a shit. Urgh, hot dog man. You backstabbing wiener. You stole my girl. I'll show you. Hmm. He said something about a special date later tonight. Hmm. I think I know what to do. Okay. We An unexpected twist. I am no longer fat. And I guess we are on the level 10. If I had to guess, it will end up with deep frying of the hot dog man. But we will see. Hmm. Just look at those two. Absolutely disgusting. Ha 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 ha. Nothing better than being together here at the park, alone in the night time. Just you and me, baby. Ha 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 ha. Oh my god, yas. Just you and me. Isn't it so romantic, hot dog man? Yeah, baby. Ha 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 ha. Hey, since we are alone, um, now is the perfect time for me to give you my hot dog. Ha 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 ha. You want my hot dog, baby? Ha 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 ha. 
Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Give it to me. Give me your hot dog. Give it to me right now. Oh, oh yes. my God. Give me your hot dog. <clears throat> Excuse me. I mean, yeah, give me your hot dog. <laughs> All right, baby. I'm going to whip out my hot dog. Get her ready. Oh, my God. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> Interesting technique. I made this hot dog special just for you, girl. Oh, yes. This hot dog is the best I ever had. I'm going to eat your hot dog all night. Nom 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 Objective: Knock them out. Okay. I think I knocked one out. Rise and shine. Time to smell the coffee. Or should I say, time to smell the death. And I was what? correct. What? What's going on? Potato Man, what are you doing? You broke my heart. Let us down from here right now, princess. You are being a very bad girl. Stop calling me princess. My name is not princess. It is Potato Man. Take this. Oh my god, the music. It fits it with the events truly magnificently. Potato Man Adventures The End I guess this was sort of a side game Side quest Go on now, you are all free to go Go, be free Thank you for saving this Potato Man Your hero will never forget you Thank you, bye Interesting, we saved the babies um, Okay There is also the extra one and extra two, so let's check those out. Okay, extra one. I guess it's a model viewer. No cone solid mascot. Oh, is that the mascot of the developer? If so, that's a that's a cute mascot. I like him. Okay. So that's just a model viewer. And the second extra also thank you for the pet. Don't click that exit button. Keep looking. Hmm. Look. What am I looking at exactly? Look at the flowers. At the flowers, okay. Blue, yellow, Look blue. At the flowers. Oh. It was a jump scare all along.
Is that out? Look the flowers. Okay, I'm looking. I said look. I do be, do be looking. I said look. I said look. Oh my god, it's the lemon. I guess this is just a room with jump scares. Uh... Okay, I think that's pretty much it for the potato trailer. It was definitely... An interesting experience, I must say. Very, very interesting indeed. Uh, I'm not exactly sure. Let me quickly check. Uh, it was developed by Seymour Katip from the Snow Cone Solid Productions. Seems like he made some... Oh my god, it's a free game. It isn't a paid one. So guys, if you wanna play this game... You can download it for free on Steam. I am pretty sure... Pretty sure... It wasn't originally free. Let me double check. I don't think this game was originally free. Because I remember buying it at some point. Yeah, it was it was originally around It was originally paid, but they made it free. And it's been free for a couple of months now, which is nice. So if you want to play this game, if it piqued your interest, you might do so for free. It's on Steam. It's the Potato Trailer. And I think it was quite enjoyable. I enjoyed it. It was definitely weird, but... Really, really interesting. I also see that the developer of this game made some other games as well. So if you guys are interested, I might check out the other games as well at some point. Uh, but yeah, this was Potato Trailer. The steamed potato edition very very interesting and definitely definitely quite fun